Welcome to Techtopia in Space, guys. We made it here. Sadly, Minecraftia is gone. Hopefully they were able to save as many people as possible, but it's up to us to establish a colony here for people to come to. Now we, we need to gather some resources first off. Right now I'm only able to breathe because I have my handy dandy space suit on. You ever think Ike was gonna be in space? No, I didn't think so either. <laughs> Anyway, so we, we brought some basic tools with us and a bed. And they said asteroid belt, but where we've ended up seems to be... I mean, this doesn't really look like an asteroid to me. It looks more like a planet that exploded, to be honest. But maybe that's what happened. As you can see, there's plenty of alien life forms hanging around. Looks like some of them died when the daylight hours came. Seems a lot like Minecraft feel, right? Uh, I don't know. I don't know if we should be killing these guys, but they seem they, they were pretty hostile to us in the night. But what we need to do is establish our first goal is to establish a sphere around this place, a border where people can actually breathe without our spacesuits. Where there's gravity, of course, you know, guys, I've got the magnetic boots that keep me uh, planted on the ground, you know. Wink, wink. Uh, yeah, but we need to take our uh, emerald token here and create a sphere. But we've got to build a we've got to build a um, a generator for that. So luckily, a lot of the parts from our spaceship from our rocket here uh, seem to be the same things that we're going to need to generate here. Well, that was bouncy. <laughs> generate this uh, sphere. So we're going to use this stuff and. Uh, Hopefully we can get all this, not lose any of it. Let's get some of these blocks. And this is just, this is sand basically, okay. A lot of things that we're gonna recognize here, we're gonna have, okay. Okay, cool, I got that. Oh well, we lost one. Hopefully we'll be able to make do. All right, cool, we got that. All right, let's fill that in so we don't ever fall in there. <laughs> There's plenty of holes. Looks like this thing was torn apart. So we need to take our Emerald Tolkien, like I said, and we need to build a structure. And that way our other teammates can come and they can live and help get us started. I figure we need to take a look around the island or the, um, the floaty you know, bit of asteroid or planet that exploded that we're currently going to be living on. And it appears there's actually several pieces of floating island around. Might be interesting to investigate the resources here. Look, hopefully this is water. We'll find out soon enough. So this very much looks like dirt. Basically some magma there. Hmm. Very interesting. Okay, so I feel like maybe in a good flat spot would be an area to, to get started. And I'm already hungry. I wonder if I can eat this. Oh, it's nasty. It's nasty. So I would think that maybe um, a material that would be suitable to build with right off the bat would probably be this the materials here on the planet. Uh being that they endure the atmosphere and they endure the weather and all that already. So let's grab some of these up and we'll be begin to build a structure. And we probably also need to build a cobblestone generator. So we need to build a generator here that will produce the energy, the gravity, and the oxygen we need for everybody to survive. And we're gonna be able to do that with these same blocks from the rocket. So we're actually gonna go up three blocks with this. And then we're going to place let's stack up here. We're going to place one piston here. I'm going to get rid of that. And then if we just remove this center block here and place this observer down, that right there should be exactly what we need. Now, we need to actually turn this off for right now. So what I'm going to do is just get rid of this piston. And that should work just fine. Uh, so we need to build a casing around it before we can actually activate it.
Because it's a very modest structure. Let's come back here and have a look. It took a long time to get the resources for this. But it, like I said, it's a very modest structure. and uh, But it'll protect us for now. And we can do better later. Basically, the point is to get the, the generator up and get <clears throat> the power token over the door. And once we place our power token over the door, some good things should begin to happen. And our team should be able to arrive and then we can start getting new people in so we can start farming and colonizing this place. Alright guys, it's been another day since we've got this up and running. And the sphere is up and I'll go show you the borders here in just a second. But since then, hey, our teammates have arrived. The tradesmen's here and the architect. So we, 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 we're right off to the right start of getting things going in this episode. Aha, we got a lumberjack and a farmer token and our storage and also a home. So that's fantastic. Um, yeah, so these guys are nice and safe in there. They don't have spacesuits like I do just yet. But let's run out here and figure out where the borders of our sphere are. It looks like our border may be well out past this, so we may have to bridge out to give the spaceships a place to land in the future. Well, let's go look in the other directions. Okay, there it is. You can see it right there. So it's just outside. Yeah, so they could actually land over here if they needed to. We may have to tunnel through to allow the new arrivals to come this way. Probably out that direction a little bit. Okay, here it is. So there's plenty of space on this end. All right. Ah, perfect. Okay, this is probably going to be the best location for them to land here. Ah, there's another structure here. And this looks like bone. Wonder what might have, uh, wonder what might have died here. Bone box. So that means we've got some bone meal here. I don't know how much bone meal, but there's some anyways. Obsidian. Maybe there's a way to make a portal to the, to the nether from here. Oh, look, we already got nomads. Check it out. 